And there we go. Yeah, um, when they start getting real funny style like that, just, hey, let her know that the options are still open for you. You know, if, you, if she got options, I got more options, too. And I'm, I'm down to utilize those options. And I'll get a nanny if I have to. You dig what I'm saying? So you, you got to let yeah. them know that, you know, you're just not going to be there taking no disrespectful behavior. So once they get that picture, they'll start acting right. But thanks for the call, fam. Yes, indeed. Sorry about that, family. I had a, a lost connection there. Want to make sure y'all see me refresh the page. If you don't see me, refresh the page. If you do not see me, I had a lost connection. My bad. I hope the show saved. I hope the show saved. Six names ago. Okay. Alright. I want some women to call up. Where the ladies? I want some ladies to call up. What's up? Who's calling? Yo, I got through. Uh, what's up, Tariq? This is Sean, the dude who did the uh, Coon Train videos or whatever. Hey, what's going on with you, fam? What's up, man? Um, just real quick, man. This is totally off topic, but I was dealing with this chick last week, and I, I had to check her on her hygiene. Oh, damn. What, and what? I what, what, what was smelling? I, I think, what's up? What was smelling wrong? Okay, so first of all, two dates. Second date, I smashed. Uh, first date, I noticed her breath was kind of funky. I, I let it slide or whatever. Yeah. Um, I, second date, I offered her a little bit of gum. And she's like, are you trying to hint that my breath stinks? <laughs> I, I had to play that off. And then I uh, ended up smashing and down there smoke kind of funky. Not oh. like fish, but like a dead body or something. <laughs> Nigga, where did you get this chick from? If she's that <laughs> unaware of her odor, where did you find her? Met her on Tinder, man. <laughs> okay, Good Lord. Some of these people, man, they, because they don't really interact in person no more, a lot of people are dealing with online interactions and Instagram, and you can't smell a motherfucker's ass and breath on Instagram, so <laughs> they don't know, they don't know that shit is not the business, so when you hook up with them, you know, they don't know how to gargle correctly and dish properly, and then you got all these scents and flavors that you don't like, so you gotta let them know what's popping, don't be afraid, I, I'll let, you know, i let women know, I'm like, hey man, this smells like taco sauce up in your panties, and I'm not really sure <laughs> Yeah. Thing is, I let her know, but I think she caught feelings, and now she's like uh, playing it cold. Dude, uh, how was the sex though? Besides the smell. Oh man, she get. Oh uh, man, how explicit can I get? Uh, got talked for like an hour, man. Just put on a movie, mm. and the whole movie went by. <laughs> So what you need to do, man, you know, you can do special things with her to, to keep her mouth and ass fresh. Like I said before, dude, <laughs> what you need to do when she come over, you put some mouthwash in the freezer, put some toothpicks in it, and make, <laughs> make her some little scope sickles. Make that motherfucker some scope sickles and let her lick on it. <laughs> and just tell us a new treat. <laughs> just do all types of shit to her. Anyway, I got to holler at you about the new coon train too, bro. So I'm going to keep you posted on that. All right, man, be in touch. No doubt. Yes, indeed. Man. Ustream is, yeah, it kind of trips out a little bit. Shit. <laughs> so you want Hidden Colors 3 in Mississippi? And y'all got to holler at me. Look, and this is another thing. When y'all want to do business, because I'm talking to a few dudes because there are certain cities we're already going to have Hidden Colors showing this um, next month. Brothers, let me say this. If you contact me about any kind of business, be about business. Call me with money in hand. If you don't have money in hand, don't waste your time emailing me. Because I'm not really trying to chat back and forth with dudes just to be chatting. If, if it's time to do business, we're going to have to do business. Because I have certain people 
hit me up. Not so. I have a lot of people hit me up talking about movie screenings and dudes are like, they say that they're promoters and they want to bring Hidden Colors 3 to their city. And I'm like, okay, I'm open for that. You know, we charge a little screening fee. And the screening fee is not that much. And if cats contact me, kind of have an idea of what you're doing. Because what I'm not going to do, I don't have time to walk dudes through the whole process. I'm like, look, if, if, I'm, if I got to do that, I would just go and have the screening myself in whatever city it is. If it's a smaller market and we're not going to have a, a screening there already and you want to bring it there and you got connections at a theater there or you know, you, you are real good at promoting in your city, you know all the spots to hit up to promote, hit us up if you're down with money in hand. I had one dude like, hey, I want to Man, I'm thinking I want to bring Hidden Colors to my city. I'm like, okay, well, here, here are the basic three things you need. Your screening fee, we need to have it on this date. Whatever you do, you can have it on this date, and we need to have it in a theater venue. Real simple. It's real cut and dry. But niggas who ain't used to doing business, the, the nigga feminine way is to sit up and talk about all your ideas nonstop. So the dude hit me up, okay, so what I'm thinking about doing... I'm going to have a Kickstarter to raise the money for the screen and fee. Then I'm, get off my email, fam. Just get off my email, bro. If you doing all that, just get off my email. Get off my email. If you got to do all that, if you don't have money in hand and you ready to get down, it, we just can't get it popping. And my thing is, if you don't know what you're doing, why do we need to go through you anyway? That's the thing. If you don't know what you're doing, why should we go through you anyway? We can just go and deal with the venue ourselves and, and do it that way. We don't need you. So the only reason we would interact with you is if you just go ahead and pay us the fee and you just save us the time because that's what you're doing. You're just paying to save us time. So you can do it and you can make your money. Promote it however you want to promote it. Do what it, do what you do. But I wouldn't need to even go through you if you don't know what you're doing and you half-assing. Because my thing, man, I, I, I do, I'm a businessman. When I do business with people, man, I, I have money in hand. If I call somebody up, we got money in hand. If I call a, a venue... We have money in hand. Ask Ola. We get it in. We call people with money in hand. Hey, this Ola, this, how much is it to rent your venue? A thousand? Cool. Do you need us to PayPal it? You need a check? Can you take a credit card on the phone? We, we do business. We're not going to be like, well, can we? Okay, we're going to have a fish fry and a barbecue, and then we'll get a car wash to raise some of it. And no, 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 no. We like to just do business. And that's how we got to start doing business, family. You got to have money in hand. When you do business, business is about having money in hand. Niggas think that they can just talk up on anything. Nobody wants to hear niggas in a jive-ass conversation when it comes to doing business. Just like that dusty nigga who called up. Old 30-year-old bum-ass nigga. Talking about what somebody else need to do with their money. Like what they need to do. I don't know. Just give us something. Just give somebody something. We just need somebody to give us something. I don't even know. A soul food restaurant. Just give me something. When it's time to handle business, that bullshit walks. Nobody's trying to hear none of that dusty nigga shit. Have money in hand when it's time to do business. That's what business is about. We got money in hand. We need something. Because if you don't have money in hand, nobody takes you seriously, including me. And what niggas want to do is sit around and talk about their ideas left and right. Brothers going to have to get off that. I give props to sisters. Sisters are handling business more than these dudes. Because when I do a lot of lectures at colleges and stuff, a lot of the people who break bread are the women. The women, they get those checks. They go get it. They get the money. Like, hey, we want to bring you out. We just paid for your flight. Here. Here's a check. 
because they know how to go ahead and get it. Because even if you're talking as a female, you got more leeway. You got a cooch. So people listen to cooch. <laughs> Shit. Even on a base level, even if you ain't got no game, you got cooch. They'll listen to that at least. People will even, they'll entertain that. Hell, look at Vistiviano. Vistiviano ain't no dime-ass chick, but the motherfucker live in a million-dollar house. Driving uh, $500,000 cars. You dig? So women can get it in a little bit faster. The sisters, I'll say sisters, sisters. Because brothers try to use their strategy. It don't work with you. Nobody's trying to hear your bullshit if you ain't got no paper, bruh. See, the women can talk a little bit. We'll listen to the women and what she has to say. We'll listen. Dudes will listen to the women. But dudes want to sit up and talk this bullshit with no money in hand. And we're like, why why, why are we dialoguing? What are we, what are we talking about? What, what, what are we doing here? So you got to have money in hand when you do business. Even on a street level. That's why a lot of these dudes are not only broke in the commercial square world. These niggas out here also broke because you can't even handle yourself on the streets. This is why you got dusty, broke, 30-year-old niggas talking about how come somebody can't give me something. How come a dude, a basketball player can't buy me something. These niggas don't even know how to survive in the streets because you know what? When you hit the street and hustle, you really got to be about business. Your business has to be more on point on a street level than in the commercial square world. Because now you're dealing with a situation where in the commercial square world, you might get sued or you might get fired. If you mess up some money, or if you're not thorough, you, get, you might get sued or fired or you might get a bad reputation in the square commercial world, in the business world. On the streets, if you ain't thorough, you fuck around and get killed or lock the hell up for a million years. So the stakes are real high on a street level. So your game actually has to be more crisp on a street level because you don't have the liberty to make too many mistakes. So you got to be a grown man about the way you handle your business. You got to be definitive and you got to be on that leadership shit and you got to be thorough what's up bro you say no matter how dusty the dude is well he might get some raggedy ass hood rat who ain't got shit going on for herself who she's she's probably on section eight niggas like like the nigga who called up the only women this nigga gonna get is a, a chick who already has about three fucking kids on Section 8 her damn self, who's getting pushed out the game herself. That's who he'll get. Because she's looking for another kid, another nigga who she can treat as her kid, and that's what he is. That's another child-ass nigga. What do you think the best conscious people to pay attention are? Most of them just debate. I, it's not about just a person being conscious. I, I'm all about what people are doing. What what have they accomplished? What are, what are they actually doing? How many folks we got in here? We still in here heavy. Yeah, we still in here heavy. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I talked about it. I talked about Stephen A. Smith earlier. I talked about all that stuff earlier. What's up? You're dealing with a 22-year-old chick. You're, you're 32. She's a fine-ass Latina. She's cool, has some maturity, but her girlfriend's a ratchet. Well, shit. She's ratchet, too. If her girlfriend's a ratchet, there's some ratchetness in her, too. And Latina, what? As, what do you mean, Latina? What is she? Because people be using these titles. And that's another thing. Niggas be thinking they dating something exotic. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hope brother Umar, Umar is trying to get that money for that school, and I hope my brother gets that. Um, I wish he had, like, a Kickstarter page, and I'm going to donate some stuff to the school, too. Uh, I always I keep forgetting about it. Um, 
I wish he had like a, a Kickstarter page or an Indiegogo page, something where you can pro you can track the progress. What's up, Yokia? You say, why am I so hung up on dimes? What do you mean hung up on dimes? Explain that. Explain that, Yokia. He's cool. We got Eric, that brother's cool. Ain't got no problem with him. I like some of his stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah, that article that that brother wrote about reparations... In the Atlantic, that was a great article. That brother wrote a profound article about reparations, man. I can't think. The brother has a very complicated name. But it was a very profound, very well laid out um, case for reparations. And that's something that we need to be rolling with as well. Dr. Kaba is doing a three-day lecture in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, that's going to be nice. Oh, that's going to be nice, man. That is going to be nice. I'm going to, let me, I'm going to send a check to Umar for his school. I'm going to send that off in the morning. Yeah, but check that out. The, um, the article about the reparations was in the Atlantic on the website. The, I think it was called the Atlantic, something like that. What's up? You say it's unfair to mark women who I don't think. Okay, I don't even know what your argument is, Yokia. Are you, are you, Yokia, are you a man or a woman? Natishi Coates. Yeah, that I just can't pronounce that name that well. But yeah, the brother wrote a very great... That article is profound. So Yokia, Yokoya, whatever your name, call up Yokoya. Let me have you call up. The number is 818-850-5404. Let me see who this is. What's up? Who's calling? Hey, this is Stephanie from Birmingham. What's up, Stephanie from Birmingham, my old hometown? What, yeah. What part of Birmingham you in, Steph? I'm in Fairfield. Oh, okay. What's happening out there in Fairfield? I can't hear you. What you say? What's happening out there in Fairfield? Oh, no, it's, it's going good. It's, it's going good. I used to kick it out there in Fairfield all the time. Really? Yes, I did. Is it still boring as hell out there? Yeah. No. <laughs> so what's on your mind, Steph? Okay, I just, I, I didn't need your opinion about something. Okay, yeah. I do hair. Okay. And I've been doing hair professionally about three years now. And I have a sibling. She always wants to come to me with for the family discount when it comes to her hair. But she can go across town and pay eighty five to hundred dollars to get her hair done. Simple hairstyles that I can do. Yeah. When they mess up her hair or have it all discolored, then she wanna come back to me for the family discount to fix her hair and want to only give me like between ten and twenty dollars. I mean, should I, should I feel yeah. salty about that? Because I, I kind of do, but then I, I yeah, but, like, well, this is my sister. Yeah, if it's the sister, I can get it. If it's the sister, but, you know, you got to let her know, like, hey, you know, I could be doing other motherfuckers' hair right now. I'm spending time on your dome putting in this damn lace front. And, you know, I could have other customers. Time is money. But I, that is your sister, though. You dig? You might need her to babysit one day. You, you feel me? No, but and, but that's the killer thing. I, I she doesn't babysit because some of the company that she keeps, I don't really agree with. Yeah. But I'm always a designated babysitter for her. Oh, and then if I have if I get opinionated and I say something to her, then she's like, oh, he she come, he gonna switch the soldier. No, and it kind of and I and I be feeling like, well, no, oh, why do you do me like that? Now she she must be the youngest sister. She younger than you? No, she's older. Damn, she's out here like that. What kind of people she hanging mm -hmm. around? Just and, and just ghetto project ratchet, and we didn't even grow grow up like that. So it's like, why do you feel like you have to gravitate gravitate toward these people? Yeah, which I'm not saying they, you know, I'm not I'm not putting nobody down. Yeah. But it's like, why why you feel like you have to defend and 
you have to hang around and just lower your level to the hill just to be in that kind of lifestyle, like that yeah. whole flashy, stunning type. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> really solid it is to me, you know? Now, now, are you married or are you in a relationship? I'm, I'm married. Oh, okay. How long have you been married? Uh, two years. Oh, okay. That's great. Congratulations. Where'd you meet your husband? I actually met him on Facebook. Oh, okay. And what does he do? He's a hairstylist also. Oh, okay. He's a barber or a hairstylist? He does both. He does. He cuts women's hair and he does women's hair. Okay. Well, if he, straight dudes who do that, they be banging them women. Oh. Tell tell that nigga I know what no, he be doing. No, he's straight. And that's the killer part. He gets approached. You know, he, he worked in a, a corporate salon and a lot of white women couldn't believe that he's a straight guy who's doing hair. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of brothers who actually are straight and do hair. They get women left and right. Those women be choosing them brothers heavy. Yes, they do. Yes, indeed. And it's a lot of women that when they, you know, they they be ready to come get their hair done and stuff, and they find out he's in there. They be like, well, you know, well, uh. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's heavy. But uh, as far as your sister, but that's your sister. I can understand that. Y'all got the whole family hookup thing. Now, how old are you, by the way? What thirty two? Well, how old are you? I'm 32. Okay, cool. What do y'all hang out out there in Birmingham now? What What are some of the club spots y'all go to? Well, my my club scene days is pretty much over with. I might hang out like at the Plum Bar if I do go. Yeah. Go out and have a few drinks. But, you know, I used to hang out in Platinum and Chubby. Yeah, they still got Platinum out there? Yeah, the Platinum still going strong. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember it used to be called T's Place back in the day. Oh, yeah. yeah. They show out them old pictures and that's something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, hey, man, you're going to be all right. You know, yeah, that's your sister. Don't trip on her too hard because you might need her. But let her know some days you might need a little extra dough. So holler at her about that. But yeah, that's your sister, so you can give her that hookup. Yeah. All right, love. It's a pleasure to talk to you, babe. Thank you. That's old girl from Birmingham. I should ask what she looked like. Let me see. Birmingham, they got some... some, some cool females down there. They country as all get out. But Birmingham, when I was living down there, Birmingham has some fine-ass females. A lot of people sleep on Birmingham because it's a real boring fucking town. It's boring as hell down there. But they got some real cute women down in Birmingham. Yeah, don't let that accent fool you. They got some good-looking women down in, like, central Alabama. What's up? That my way, is that uncut? Wait. Hold on. <laughs> we got uncut. Is that you, player? <laughs> what you doing in there? I should have had Uncut on the phone when she called up. Oh, I got the crew in the house tonight. I got Ola and Uncut in here. <laughs> what's up, player? <laughs> Y'all say what's up to my dude, Uncut. That's the, he's part of the crew. Uncut goes on the road with me and Ola. Shout out to Uncut. Yeah, Birmingham, dude, they got some nice ones in Birmingham. They got some some cute ones in Birmingham. <laughs> yes, indeed. Me and my boy Uncut grew up down there in Birmingham. We school buddies. That's my nigga right there. Nigga, we, we used to get into so much shit. <laughs> That's Sean. Yes, indeed. One time, me and Uncut, <laughs> we uh, we were rap. Y'all yeah, know we used to rap. We, <laughs> we used to go to these juke joints and perform. <laughs> okay, call up. I got to have my nigga call up. Call up, man. 818-850-5404. <laughs> Eight one eight eight five zero five four zero four. Call up, fam. <laughs> nigga, we used to perform at juke joints, nigga. I'm I'm talking about straight juke joints. You know that shit where you saw on Hustle and Flow where Skinny Black went with to meet DJ. We used to rap in places like that all over Alabama. <laughs> Let 
nigga, we used to live in West End. Yeah, we dance. Y'all know about my breakdancing skills. My breakdancing skills was off the goddamn chain. Hello? Hello? What's up, Tariq? This is from Atlanta with a quick question. Real quick, fam. What's up? Uh, basically, I wanted to know, what is the best way to, when it comes to the online dating thing, to go from when you first meet a chick to get a in person? But the problem I run into is the girls be saying that I, I'm too uh, assertive. <laughs> Maybe I move too fast and try to get them on the phone too quickly. No, you gotta. You just gotta do it without being thirsty. If the girl is serious, because the thing is, first of all, you gotta your intro. If they're saying that, that means your intro was a little shaky. So you can't be too thirsty okay. about it. You can't be like, "Hey, you got a nice ass. Call me." You know, you gotta be. You gotta. <laughs> you, you, the intro has to be a little smoother. So when you see somebody you like on the the internet or you're interacting with them, um, just kind of strike up a conversation about where they live. Are they close to you? Do what do you do? Just kind of get some basics. Online and say, hey, look, we need to talk in person because you sound like you you got some interesting things going on. I like to discuss further. And also, I want to see what you sound like, too. And they can respect that if you come at them real cool and honest. That ain't got too much thirst on it. And it's a real honest way to approach them. You feel me? But a lot of times, you know, again, I feel the women because you're dealing with a lot of thirsty ass niggas who are constantly trying to get your number. And, you know, they're trying to constantly hollering at them. So they got to be very careful. Right. You know, so just I keep, appreciate that. Oh no doubt. You just real keep it real Mackish. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's up, Ernie said you never had success online? Yeah, just be real cool about it. Meet you after chatting you one one week. She's either man or one. Yeah, and that's another thing. Y'all got to be careful who you talking to on this damn internet, man. That's another thing because a lot of people, man, they don't want to talk because y'all niggas are being catfished. Look at y'all talking to females online and, you know, they sound all good and shit on the internet and they sound all sexy and they look like urban models and then you go to their house and then they open the door like this. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I don't like the fact that you YouTubers leaving me comments saying that I look like a man. That hurts my feelings. I am no man. I am all woman. Stop leaving me comments saying that I'm a man. Stop calling me a man. I am not a man. I am all woman. I'm tired of people all Yeah, so that's what you don't want. You don't want that. Wait a I want some ladies to call up. Ladies only. Let me talk to ladies only. What's up? Who's calling? Hey, Free. This is Sean C, a.k.a. You Karima, calling out of Miami, Florida. How you doing, brother? Hey, what's going on, player? Real quick, I just wanted to share some information with the family, if you don't mind. Go ahead. I'm the brother that posted the information about a uh, three-day lecture oh, yeah. with uh, Dr. Kaba, a.k.a. Booker T. Coleman. Okay. Yeah, so he's going to be in South Florida next month, uh, the days of June 13th, 14th, and 15th. He's doing a three-day lecture dealing with education. Okay. And uh, information is on my YouTube page. You can go to youtube.com forward slash GMOG Media for oh. more information about that. What, what's the what's the YouTube page again? YouTube.com forward slash GMOG Media. Okay. I'm doing a uh, interview with the event coordinators okay. of that event. Okay. It's two ladies that's pulling off that event for the three-day lecture. Um, what, what's the venue it's going to be at? Where is it going to be? All right, so the first date is going to be at uh, Body, Mind, and Soul in Hollywood, Florida. Okay. And the address is on the uh, Eventbrite website. Okay. It's linked on the YouTube page. Oh, cool. The second day is going to be at the historical Old Dillard Museum, which is in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And the third day is going to be back in the Body, Mind, and Soul in Hollywood, Florida. Cool. So like I said, all the information is on the YouTube page, and also check out the Eventbrite website as well to purchase the tickets. Cool. Okay, good looking out, man. I'm going to let my people know about that, man. It's going to be good to, for brothers and sisters to go down there and chop it up with Brother Kaba. Thanks for the call, fam. Yeah, <laughs> man, y'all definitely, if you're out there in South Florida, go see Brother Kaba, man. The brother's very powerful 
with the game, and he's spitting some hot fire in Hidden Colors 3, too. <clears throat> yes, indeed. My man, was, he was just talking bad. Ladies only. I got to talk to ladies only. Hello? Yo, Tariq, what's good? I have you called back, fam. Let me talk to ladies only. I hate to hang up on the brothers. I hate to hang up on them. What's up? Who's calling? Hello? <laughs> hey. Hello? Tariq? Hey. I gotta talk. Hello? Hey, what's up? It's me. What's up? Oh, hi, Tariq. It's Cynthia. Hey, Cynthia. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Austin, Texas. Oh, okay. How are you? What, your phone okay, sweetie? You all right? Yeah, I was watching you, and then, you know, you answered. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. It's a delay. There's a delay. So just listen to the phone. Oh. Yeah, and that's why it's throwing you off a little bit. So don't look at the delay. Look, Don't look at the screen. Just listen to the phone. So what's going on with you, okay. Cynthia? Well, yeah, I live in Austin, Texas. And, you know, I just moved from Atlanta like a year ago. And I work in a doctor's office. And, you know, there's a couple of gay niggas out here. <laughs> um. Uh, one dude came in the office, he was 28, and I worked, you know, in a family practice. He was 28, good-looking guy, black dude, and I was looking at his insurance card, and I was like, okay, the policyholder said Dominique. I'm like, that could be a man or a woman, and I had to enter the information in. I was like, is Dominique, you know, your girlfriend, your wife, your dad? This nigga told me it was his life partner. Oh, shit. Uh oh <laughs> I almost canceled that nigga's appointment. Oh, damn. <laughs> he was so good looking. I was like, I just left Atlanta and I got to come to this shit. <laughs> Leave Dominique alone. Domin Dominique was in there getting his, getting his treatment, making sure everything is cool for his life partner. Let Dominique do it. That's uh, good <laughs> he, was, he was so handsome. He was so good looking. Grinning at me. This nigga don't want me. He was like, girl, who do your hair? Shit. He wanted to see <laughs> where you get. Right. How'd you get them edges to lay down? I don't appreciate the moistness out in Austin. <laughs> I, I just left that shit behind. Man. How long? Now, you've been out there in Austin for how long? I've been here a year and a half. Now, what made you leave Atlanta to go to Austin? Well, I was not I was unemployed for two years oh. and kind of starting over. Oh. You know, I feel like I'm in, I'm dealing with George Bush's extended family out in this motherfucker. Yeah. Now, now how do you, um, Cynthia? I just turned 30. Oh, now, what do you look like? Um, Tyree, I'm gonna go on your Facebook. Yes. I uh, people say I look like Rihanna and oh. Left Eye from TLC. Okay, hold. On, let me see this because people be saying. Okay, people be saying they yeah, look. Yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm an attractive girl, five two, one twenty. And you know, let me go to your uh Tyree Nasheed page. Let me see this Rihanna. I'll just leave a, a simple little hey, and you can see me. Now I got my baby picture as my um. Let's, as my main picture. Don't, don't focus on the baby picture. Let's see this. I want to see what left eye you look like. It'll look like somebody hit you in your left eye and you got swole in the face. Okay, Cynthia Nicole. Did you see you write my little comment? Let me see. Where'd you write it? Where'd you write it? Let me see. Cynthia Nicole. It's underneath, your, I guess, your first post. Um, the Coon Train. Cynthia, the Coon Train. Are you on the Tariq Ali fan page? I guess so. The main, yeah, the fan page. Now, what does it say? What do you see on my page? What do you see? Because there's some fake. That's what you see. It says the the coon train. You know, May twenty third was your last post. That's. I don't think. Hold on. That might be a fake page, sweetie. Oh, is it? Yeah, that might be a fake page. Let me see. Let me. Right. May twenty. Let me go ahead and call one. No, go to. Oh, okay. How many people must have fake pages of me? Because people be saying they be. Okay, look, for those who try to follow me on Facebook, what do you see? An, am I wearing a, an outfit or something? What do you see? Well, I'm on the Hidden Colors page now. Okay. Um, Are you on that one? Okay, who the fuck is this? Okay, they got about five fucking fake Tariq pages. I, okay. And I hope people don't be trying I'm to catfish the, people with these. I'm on the Hidden Colors page with like 25... Uh, thousand okay guess, likes or whatever okay now okay you can can you send me a message there just send me a message a yeah well message. i just like you a comment under the live stream okay hold on let me see okay i see it see i see it i see it okay there you go that, that's the baby picture but go on to my other pictures i'm attractive okay well, let's see what's popping with cynthia nicole 
Yeah. You got, you got your little nails done. Hold on. Okay, you, you kind of do look like Rihanna. Hold on. Got that nice, <laughs> nice pronounced forehead. I like that. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Got the crimps. I love it. Hold on. I see one or two pictures. Are these your kids on here? No, those are my nieces, Mackenzie and PJ. They're in Atlanta. Oh, okay. Hold on. I see two pictures. You do kind of look like Rihanna. Where's your... I only see two. Go to my, go to my albums page. Album. You got, can you click album? Let me see. The albums. The albums. The al okay, there we go. Albums. Let's see. Let me see. 18 photos. Let me see. 20 photos. Let me see other albums. I might have to add. Do I have to add you as a friend on here or something? Hold on. Profile. I'm going to go to profile pictures. Okay, I can't see too many pictures here. Well, there you go. I see you with some little kids there. You look real young right there. I want to see the body. See what the body looks like. I'm 5'2", Petit. I got, I got a handful in the mouthful. That's what I tell you. <laughs> so when you were in Atlanta, who were you dating? In, were you in a relationship in Atlanta when you were out there? Well, I, I was talking to this noob, but he moved back to Cali. He was from Cali, so I tried to hold on to him, but I had to stop living in La La Land. Nah. How long were you dealing with him? Like five years. Oh, and he, you know, he didn't want to take it to that next level? Nah, and I went out there to see that nigga, too. Thought he, I was moving somewhere. My ass came right off there, man. Damn. Damn. Huh? So... Now, what type of dudes do you like? Because we can get you a love connection. You a cute chick. We, we got to see what, what you... We're going to hook you up. I got a lot of brothers out there, good, thorough brothers out there in Texas. She's a good-looking chick, too. Good-looking chick. Um, you know, and what, often I'm surrounded. It's like 90% white people out here. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the, the black dudes I see are with, you know, Mexican chicks or straight-up white girls. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, damn, in Atlanta, you know, niggas were down for sisters. If you saw a black man in Atlanta talking to a white girl, he was making a statement. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, white. yeah. The, the 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 white women and the, the Mexican ladies they campaign heavy out there in yeah, Texas. I mean, you know, they they. I had a couple of white. I had a couple of white guys out here, but these are the white boys that have never dealt with black anything. Like they're not from LA or nothing, so they oh. look at you like. Damn, she's stereotype, and oh, that's all they know oh, out no, here. No, it's like you're a fetish. They, and they like it's it's too much of a fetish with them. It's like, can yeah. I smell you? Can can you rub your pubic hairs on the face? I like that. You know, they they want some real weird shit going on. So, uh, you know, you know. yeah. So I'm kind of like I don't have any kids. I'm kind of just dating, but it's like shit. What's your Twitter page? Let so the the fellas can follow you. What's your Twitter? Twitter. I mean, I have Instagram. My Instagram is Original Fifty Cent. Original Fifty Cent. Yeah, C Y N T. C. Oh, C Y N T. Okay. Do you spell yeah. fifty? You spell the word or just the letter? I spell the C Y N T. No, the oh, and the six five zero. Oh, okay. C Y N T. All right, there you go. Y'all follow Original. Are you following me on on Instagram? Am I? No, I don't think I am. Okay, yeah, follow me. I'm Tariq Elite, T A R I Q Elite on Instagram. We're going you got you got more pictures, body shots and all that so the fellas can see what's happening. Well, not not really body shots, Tariq. I'm not a ratchet chick. No, 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 not not body like you showing your ass in a thong in a dirty bathroom. I'm just talking about like we can see you from head to toe. Because the thing is we well, we see a lot of close up shots. We got the because see some girls they show pictures of their face and the face is cute and your legs look like you got polio or some shit. So cats no. need to know what's happening. No, I'm petite. I'm yeah. just short and I'm petite. Yeah. That's it. Because my you know cats online they want to see what you look like from head to toe. Because I've seen girls on you know you see them online and they cute from the waist up and then they feet be all fucking dangling over their shoes like <laughs> yeah like Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex. <laughs> you, you know you what baby. You what? I'm I'm good in that whole department. I take care of myself. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So we're gonna follow you on Instagram and see what's up. But thanks for the call, Sent. Yes, hey, thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, Sent seems cool. I, I dated a chick like Sent. She reminds me of a chick I dated. Make sure my lady ain't coming through the door. <laughs> but Sent is cute. She does look like. <laughs> you said she look a little like Rihanna if she hold her head sideways and squint your eyes. No. She do look a little bit. She does look like Rihanna. She does look like Rihanna. Yes, indeed. 
Yes, indeed. But anyway, y'all, let me see what's going on with my nephew and my daughter and everybody upstairs. See what's going on with them. How many people? We still in here heavy tonight? We still in here heavy. We still in here heavy. Let me get one more call and see who's popping. What's up? Who's calling? Uh, hello? What's up? Are you all right, my nigga? You sounded real confused when you answered that phone. What's happening with you, man? <laughs> nah, nah. I'm not here. Yeah, not too man. Uh, what up? Okay. What up, y'all, man? I'm the Big Face calling from Chicago. There you go, Big Face from Chicago. Everything all right, man? It didn't sound like you were negotiating your fucking ransom. You... <laughs> <laughs> This nigga negotiating no, his own no, ransom. No. Like, I got twenty fucking dollars in the car. Let me go. <laughs> I got a tax no, refund no. check coming. Just let me go. <laughs> you gonna negotiate your no. own ransom, nigga? What's up? No. What's on your mind, man? Oh, um, no, but like, what's on my mind, man? I saw that uh, Terry Crews video. Man, that nigga is cool, man. Man, you know what the thing is? I I I, I would like to go in on Terry, but. We're, I'm being represented by the same firm as Terry. That's the only reason I ain't really went in on it. It's just a conflict of interest. That's the only reason. So I got to let that one slide. We're represented by the same firm out here in L.A. So, But I feel you. There's some shit. Uh, 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 brothers saying shit they ain't supposed to be saying. My thing is, dude... Uh, if you not if you got to do all that and, and dance and just say no comment. Just say no fucking comment, man. It's such a bad look to see brothers go out like that, defending the Donald Sterlings and the Mark Cubans and all that stuff, man. But, hey, it is what it is. But, anyway, thanks for the call, fam. Hi, right, bro. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Man, man, man. We got going on. But yeah, y'all following Scent right now. Y'all need to be following Scent to see what she looks like. And holla at her. So we can make a love connection. Scent out there by herself. And um, you think she looks better than me? Yeah, she looks better than Mimi. And you see that, and, and again, Scent, we got to know if Scent got a bubble on her. Because like I say, I don't trust no black woman with no ass. She got a flat ass, just hide your wallet. But a lot of people are going to be following you. Just like the one girl called in. What was her name? She she got a lot of followers after she was on the show. But anyway, y'all, let me get up out of here. Y'all, we're going to keep the music flowing right on Tariq Elite Radio. So y'all don't go anywhere. I want y'all to chop up game among yourselves. Don't forget to go to TariqElite.com, TariqRadio.com. Get the shirts. Get all that gear. Go to um, HiddenColorsFilm.com to get the movie Hidden Colors 1 and 2. Hidden Colors 3 will be in select theaters June 26th. I'm going to keep you guys posted on that. We're going to keep the music going all night right here on Tariq Elite Radio. Stay tuned.